Hey guys, welcome back. I am Jason. This is my good friend Bill, and we are going to talk about radios. I think radios are a very boring subject. I am not interested in radios. I find it to be very dull, and it's not one of my passions. Okay. <laughs> right on. Okay. <laughs> but, but, my good buddy, let's call him Prepper Joe, said, I need a radio. So you go out and buy a radio, and now you have a radio, and now what the heck do I do with the thing? Right. That's the problem, because there, there's generally, from what I understand, as I have dove into the radio thing a little bit, there's kind of a learning curve to figure out what to do with the actual thing. So what I want to try to do, because Bill, you're way smarter than I am, uh, especially when it comes to radios. In a lot of ways, he's a lot smarter than I am, but especially when it comes to radios, in a nutshell, in the, the shortest, briefest, the radios for dummies. Yeah. Tell me about radios. Awesome. So, A, why do you need a radio? Why do you need to communicate, right? Why? Uh, you have to get that right first. And the reason is because uh, every you need, you need to be able to communicate with friends, family, and your network of in, in your community. And having more than one way to be able to do that mm -hmm. or being able to plan in the event that towers go down or whatever else happens yeah. you, you need to be able to layer your communication because we all use our cell phones right, right. now everybody has their cell yeah. phone everyone's got one and you can call text you can skype across the world which is incredible yeah. right you can you can see face-to-face -face conversations with someone in china right now it's, right. it's amazing but as everyone knows that system that what we rely upon so heavily could go down and then what Right. Or you, you live in an area like where we're standing right now, mm -hmm. I have no cell service. Me either. My right. house, dead zone. Right. If I don't have Wi-Fi, so if I have no electricity, right. I have no Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. If I have no Wi-Fi, I got no comms. Yeah, Zero. Yeah. Unless. Absolutely. Enter okay. the inner, uh, radio transmissions. Yep. Um, so before I tell you some basic things about this, I want to just put a disclaimer out there for everybody. There is no 100% secure form of communications, right? There's always a way to break an encryption, right? So that's out there, but... Nothing is sacred. Nothing's no, private. No, nothing, is, <laughs> nothing is sacred or private, but that doesn't mean that a simple radio like the Bofunk yes. doesn't have a place in what you're doing. You just got to think and, and be smart about things. Okay. So, uh, Prepper Joe said, hey, go buy a radio. Uh, Which one? What kinds of radios are there? You could go to the store and find a, a you know, GMR, this is a GMRS radio, uh, which you need a license to operate. You could go to a big box store and buy a walkie-talkie. Yep. That's going to be on, on what's called FRS or, or, or MERS, one of those yep. two. Uh, and then outside of that, you have a UHF or VHF. And all, all, all those three-letter things that I'm talking about, FRS, GMRS, which is four letters, I, I eat crayons, UHF and VHF, right? That, that's all just talking about the, the spectrum in the radio frequencies, okay. right? Uh, which one do you – Prepper Joe said, go buy a radio. Which one do I go buy? Well, you're probably going to buy this one because okay. it's cheap, yep. uh, and it offers the ability to talk on UHF and VHF, and, and it, it, you feel like a pirate when you use this thing because you should have a license, but n nobody's ever been fined. Listen, for I listen I'm not a licensed guy. I yeah. don't like asking permission for anything. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's just me. Yeah. That's just me. The so, radio nerds out there are like cringing at the thoughts of this. <laughs> oh, they are. So what do you get... As far as range with the radio, they're going to tell you, you can operate 40, 50, 60 miles. No, you can't. Perfect example. With this radio, which is operating by the book, 10 watts, I'm probably going to get 8 watts. And this is your bow thing. This is the bow funk. Yep. I'm going to get 8 miles in arch rain in northeast Georgia, which to, to put it on a map, I can talk realistically this kind of zone with my truck mounted uh mobile station which pushes 50 watts uh costs a little bit more but i can talk 12 miles uh, you, just because you have a more powerful radio doesn't mean that you can do more so just bear that in mind realistically how far can you talk with this it's going to be dictated based off of elevation about how much what the terrain that you have whether it's 
you know, a lot of draws, spurs, mountains, valleys, things of this nature, as well as the, as well as the vegetation. Because the signal doesn't go through mountains. Correct. Yes. Um, okay. Out in the desert, it's going to work great. If you're up on the top of a mountain, your buddy's down below, it's going to work great. So if you're out hiking, if you're out doing some uh, four-wheeling, running your ATVs, these are just a great resource because a lot of those areas don't have cell phone service. So there, there's, a, you know, why do I have one? Because I want to be able to talk. Same is going to be true with this uh, GMRS radio because it's operating off of 5 watts. So you're going to get about the same range as you will with the Bofunk. The problem with a GMRS radio is it is only GMRS frequencies that you can operate on. I can do that on this one, but I can also operate on the rest of the UHF spectrum as well as the VHF. So it gives you so many options to be able to do this thing. So... Radio nerds generally start, after about five to ten minutes, they start speaking a foreign language. Um, and the radio nerds get real mad at me when I start, I start you know, questioning. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> just, just tell me how to use the thing. So, right. so, if I bought, so if I bought a Baofeng radio, like this one, oh. right there, it, it's pretty inexpensive, right? I forget what I paid for mine, but I want to say it was like 50, 60 bucks. Yeah, the, you can, they start at 25 and yeah. they'll go up to maybe 90. Okay, yeah, yeah. So that's what I paid for mine. And it is, in my experience, it's worked very reliably. They're not waterproof, but I left mine out in the rain for three days one time on accident. Yeah. And it's, it's fine. fine. Yeah, it's it's fine. fine. I just let it dry out, took the battery out, let it dry out, and it's fine. It still works great. So I've had really good luck with the bow things. Your, your experience may be different, but I've had good luck with them, and mine has worked for everything that I've needed it to work for. Yeah. Um, so... And like I said before, I don't I don't like asking per, per, for permission to use do things like if I want to especially just to talk. Yes, it's, I guess there's, there's an amendment about that. I I've heard of it. I'm not sure it's <laughs> one of it's one of the first. It's one of the first one. I'm not sure which one. But anyway, uh, I I'm not interested in asking for permission. That's just me. You do you, and whatever you feel is is right. But um, uh, how can we use this thing? Um, as far as which channels are there any channels that you can speak on with if you push that push to talk button, are there any channels that you will not get in trouble for, per se? Can you speak on any of them freely that you're aware of? On this one? Mm -hmm. Without a license? Yes. The answer is no. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Because I heard otherwise, but I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah. Radio talk or uh, internet talk. I yeah. don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. But again, nobody's ever gotten in trouble. Sure. By the FCC for using a Baofeng radio. Gotcha. Even if you're using this on GMRS, which... Technically, whatever, but and you're and we're buying it. Personally, I'm using it for emergency purposes. Yeah, I'm right. not using. I'm not replacing my cell phone. Right. So right. if it's an emergency, I really don't care. Yeah. Who cares at all? Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so on that note, you know, when you do buy a Baofeng and you turn it on, you'll see that mine has some words on there, but Stoked. it's because I have it programmed, right? And I use the program called Chirp to program my radio, and I have probably 80 uh, stations that are programmed in, as well as my local repeaters that are here. When you buy your radio and you turn it on, it's not going to have none of that. So you need to program your radio, and you need to do it now before you need it then in those emergencies. And you have to program your radio. You can't just turn it on and use it as it comes. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have a frequency mm -hmm. that you could push to talk, and but you're going to be locked into that, and you don't know what frequency that is or who else may be on there. So you just look into your area and figure out what you want to do with your group and your community. Um, Programming the radio can be done manually, as in you can literally push the buttons and program this, um, or it can be done using a software. If you're looking to program this manually, the best one that you need to check out is the one that's linked by Not a Rubicon. Great dude, loves the Baofeng, and has a ton of great knowledge to be able to walk you through that process. Buy radio, program radio for the stations that you want to use that you've uh, collaborated with people in your community. Hopefully, you've got some people in your community. Right. That's kind of yeah. It's okay. kind of important. It's you got to have somebody to talk to, right? Because <laughs> <'cause, laughs> hello, so anybody, anybody. So if there's if there's no one to talk to, you're just talking to random people that might be happen to be on that same frequency. That right. doesn't make a lot What's of sense. Going on? Yeah, yeah. So so people in your community that you trust. Hopefully, you can you know communicate yeah. on those stations. Okay, carry on. And then make a cheat sheet card 
in case anything happens to the programming on your radio, or if somebody else picks up the radio in your family, they've never used one before, they need to know how to operate this. It's not just you, everybody in your household needs to know how to operate the radio. So, so in closing, Prepper Joe tells us to buy a radio. We go out and buy a radio. We recommend probably an inexpensive one like this. Yeah, you don't want to start off with something like this. How much is that going to set you back? Um, I, I mean, a, a thousand. A thousand bucks. Yeah. And you, the sky's the limit. You could spend it thousands. Is. You could thousands. spend th yeah. thousands. You can literally speak around the world. You can speak to space. Yeah. But you don't need to do that. Yeah. You, you just need to get started with a bow fan. Yeah, speaking to space is probably not going to help you in the event of a local emergency. Right, right. absolutely not. All right, so, okay, so... Prepper Joe tells us to buy a radio. We buy an inexpensive Baofeng radio or something similar to it. Um, and then we program uh, the, the channels that we want to use mm -hmm. that are that we've talked with our community. And those are the channels that we're going to use on a regular basis. Maybe we cycle through, right. rotate through several different ones, uh, a handful of them. And then, uh, and then we get out and practice with it. And we learn what all the buttons do. And we start jabbing the things. And we figure out what does what. And that's really the only way... That's the only way you're going to figure it out. the only yeah. way. I mean, there's no real... What I have discovered is there's no real simple, like, uh, turn the thing on, push this one button, and now you're radioing. It's not, right. like, that's not, it's not really a thing, unfortunately. I wish it was. It's never going to be as simple as our cell phone. Like, right. that's why people use cell phones and we don't use radios anymore. So, unfortunately, that's the way it is. But it's... It's not that big of a deal if you just start slowly and just gradually progress and just work your way into it. Buy an inexpensive radio and just practice with the thing. It's even an idiot numb skull like me can figure it out. So if I can do it, I know you can do it. Absolutely. <laughs> so, so anything else to add? No. Uh, like you said, just get out and use this thing. Use it in different environments, different times of day, different distances, different settings, and see what you can do and what you can't do. That way, when you actually need it, you already know. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a good one. Like, for example, as we close this video out, for example, my radio, I can't talk to a single one of my buddies from my house. Mm -hmm. Not one. Can't do it. But if I climb to the top of the hill behind my house, I can talk to a couple of them. Right. And then those two buddies could talk to a couple more buddies. Right. So that's, that's a big deal. And I know that, and I'm aware of that. That's the limitation that I'm dealing with. So working on some... Yeah, alternative ways to get around that as well. But anyway, I hope you found this at least a little bit informative, guys. I really do appreciate you watching. Ask lots of questions. If you don't feel like talking about radios, that's fine. You can just leave any comment you like. I don't know, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Anything. Doesn't really matter as long as you leave a comment because it really helps the videos out. Thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure you check out Bill at Stokermatic. Get stoked. I'll put a link in the description just so you can get directly there if you have any problems. But otherwise, see you next time. I'm Jason Salyer with Survival Dispatch. As a Survival Dispatch Insider, you'll be able to gain the knowledge, the skills, and equipment necessary to protect your family when it really, really matters. They'll provide crucial information on such things as stockpiling food, medical necessities, communication plans. You will receive specific actionable plans. You can deliver proven techniques to help you get home, shelter in place, or bug out safely.